for either of you, what, I guess you guys went up against the O'Reilly line a lot tonight. What were they just doing to make things tough in your space? Uh, yeah, a bit of both. They were really good, obviously. Um, three really good players. Um, factors on the Selkie, like I talked about, really good player. But also us, you know, we didn't have our jump tonight. Um, our uh, execution was off. Um, yeah, just uh, we're feeling it, just fighting it out there. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it's 1-1. Uh, it's, you know, we get to go on the road and hopefully steal one there, hopefully two. And, uh, you know, we've got to forget about it and move on and, and get back to the way we can play. Uh, Okay, sorry. Why you guys go ahead then. Exactly? What? Why were you executing? I don't know. Uh, we just weren't. It happens. Uh, trying our best. Got prepared. Everything we could. Just off. Everyone was just a little off tonight, I think, or really off. Um, and we still had a chance to tie it up. We, you know, Gabe scored that goal. We were feeling good. It felt like the building was back in it. We had our legs back a little bit, and just a, a little miscommunication that kind of sums up our night um, in the third there off the face off and. Uh, yeah, we uh, they ended it, but got to move on. No, I think it was more just us not playing to our strengths and not playing how we can play like we played in game one. So, so I think it's just uh, like Nate said, just short memory here and and move on and trying to learn from that game. And and uh, we know we know we can play a lot better than that. So so uh, it's a uh, game three and two days. So we have to get ready. Uh, no, I, I think we need to learn from it for sure. Uh, you know, our, our execution and compete. Um, you know, it's, it was just tough. They, they had a good start, and uh, for whatever reason, we just couldn't execute. Um, and they just kind of kept coming, and, and we kind of shot, shot ourselves in the foot. Um, but we need a better start. I think we can learn from that. Um, take a page out of their book and have a great start on the road in, uh, in a couple of days. Mika, it, it seemed like their first touch was a lot more intense, a lot more effective from the start of the game. And it probably put you guys in the groove a little bit. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, we were not breaking out as well as we did in the first game. And part of it is just obviously they had better legs today and they had better jump than us. So, and like Nate said, our execution wasn't great. So breakouts are about execution and getting out of the zone quick and going back to the offense. So, so that's a fair point that they were uh, kind of eating us up, especially in the first 30 minutes. Do you have any thoughts on just the officiating and specifically this penalty that Gabe didn't shoot the kicker in the second? Uh, yeah, I didn't. I think Val was, I think the rule is if you make a, your best effort to get out of the way, Val ended up behind the net, actually. We didn't even end up through Bennington. Um, so I thought he did his best to, to get out of the way. He was off balance with Falk on a partial breakaway. Um, but I mean, yeah, the refs have a tough job. Um, I thought it was it was all fine tonight. Um, yeah, it was on us for sure. Uh, definitely wasn't the refs' fault, that's for sure. You you all had such great success against Bennington last season, last postseason actually in the regular season. What is it about him in these first two games that you might be able to get him? Why is he such a challenge? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, you know, he looks like he's feeling it, and we gotta, you know. Take away his eyes. I know it's kind of a cliche thing, but he definitely saw a lot of pucks tonight. He went over that in the second. Um, you know, they're doing, a, they're doing a good job boxing us up, but we got to fight a little harder to get in his eyes and get tips. Um, but I thought game one, we we uh, did enough to to score more than uh, three. Um, he played great. Don't get me wrong, but um, and then tonight we, we we were bad. We were really bad tonight. So um, yeah, I think uh, you know, he's playing great, but. We can't control that. We just got to keep throwing pucks at him. How do you not just dwell on this? You said you learn from it, but not dwell on it. Just the next thing. Yeah, I think just that's with our experience. I mean, that's what you learn. I think uh, years past, we might dwell on it and, and, and get down on ourselves and each other or whatever it might be. But we just got to pick each other up and, and move on and um, you know stay positive. Uh, you know, we have a great team. We still believe we can get this thing done. Um, win this series, you know, we're not going to sweep every round. So it's a, it's, it's fine. I think um, we have a lot better and we're still in it tonight. So there's a lot of positives as well, but um, definitely need a better start uh, Saturday. One last one. 
Was the surface of the ice at all weird? It looked like a lot of guys were falling maybe more than usual. I don't think I don't think that's an excuse for us, you know. Uh, I think it was just execution. Start just what were the, the main things you saw go wrong tonight? Number one, we got it worked. We got no skated, so that makes everything more difficult, but Similar, I I would guess to like game one. I thought we were the quicker team. I thought we worked extremely hard, and that was like probably their biggest adjustment. Right, they needed to get that work out of their group. They got it, and we and so they were much better, and we were worse. So. Um. Well, five on three is five on three. I mean, that's a it's it's tough, especially their power play and and their personnel. Um, you got to give up something. You know, the shot we gave up. They got one on the low play. Kemper makes a nice save, and then they get another one uh, on the flank. But they're gonna get their shots. It's just a matter of where they're coming from, and and can we s steer them out of the most dangerous parts of the ice? That one snuck through. I think it hit Mans the stick. He's doing a nice job trying to take the back door away. He gets there. Um, the lines, uh, I don't know. They're, they're three lines deep regardless. So there's three lines there that you got to win the matchups on minimum, if not all four. Um, and they get a little spark, right? But it's hard to say because I just felt like they skated real well and worked real well. And I don't know. It might have been, been the same with the lines where they were. That they just didn't have the jump night. Are you perplexed that that could happen in the playoffs, or is it just inevitable what's going to happen? Well, I didn't like it. Um, it happens. You know, our biggest, like, especially early on, our biggest issue was no one wanted to skate with the puck. So, like, last game, every time we touched the puck, we were moving and skating on our first touch, and tonight we weren't. So, you don't get time for the play to develop up the ice, let our forwards get to where they want to go before we're giving it to them. We, we, you know, they, they did a nice job in the neutral zone, but we didn't, we didn't move, you know, so we made the job easy on them. And then with no speed going to the red line, and like the other night we kept the puck away from the goalie a lot on our dumps. If we rimmed it, it was a hard rim in the glass and we were getting to it. And tonight we just seemed like we passed most of our dumps right to Bennington so he could break them out, you know? So, the puck placement helps when you're moving. When you're not moving well enough through the neutral zone and you're not creating any space, then you're going to get closed off at the red and then you can't get the dump you want, you know? So they were much better in that area. But a lot of that's, like, when I watch our team, a lot of that's on us. Our execution was poor, and that's because we weren't skating with it. Top guys in particular, I know, Nathan, and you got, you've all said that the top guys off the scratch across the ice maybe weren't at their best tonight. Was there... Anything to that beyond getting out work and execution? Like, was there any tactical things with the O'Reilly? Oh, there'll be some for sure. Yeah, but they checked hard. And, and, you know, part of it is winning the race and part of it's winning battles. And their second man was real quick tonight and ours was real slow. So, like, getting into it and getting involved and, you know, we just weren't there. That when it's an effort issue, a speed level issue, whatever it is, is that a little easier to stomach? You know, that that's just maybe more correctable than... Well, that's where it starts. It's not the that wasn't the only issue, you know. Execution suffers because of it. I think guys trying to do the right thing, but if we're not moving the way we're supposed to move, it makes it more difficult. Um, but there's definitely going to be some tactical things that we can look at. Again, there was after game one, you know, so there'll be lots. What, is Kale doing okay? It looked like he had the he went hard to the net, and I know he's playing, but like, what's happening? yeah? He he's doing fine. Yeah. How do you put a game? Well, number one, we'll look at a bunch of the negatives tomorrow, and then we'll get on to some of the things tactically that we want to do on game day. So, But, like, it's one game. We knew this was going to be a long, hard series. It's a really good team. They answered back after a bad night in game one. Now it's our, now the onus is on us. We have to do the exact same thing. So we'll make a couple adjustments, and we're going to have to get back to work. You know, like, the biggest factor from game one to game two is game one, we outworked them and we were the quicker team, and game two, they were the opposite. That's number one factor out of all of them. Nathan McKinnon about it. He said, obviously, it wasn't the reason why you guys lost, but uh, what did you think about the officiating, the call on Nachushkin that led to that five-on-three? I thought it was fine. 
Yeah. I mean, he's, he definitely has pressure from the defender um, and he goes in and, and gets a, an opportunity to the net, but you have to do everything in your power to avoid the goal. He, 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 he caught a piece of him. So it's a, it's a call. Do you feel better the fact that you got to see him get some healthy scratches for one of those guys to step in and, and help you if you continue, if guys continue to struggle? Yeah, I mean, you're like I said, going into this thing, we're gonna need all of them. That's what I I truly believe that. Especially if you get to where you want to go, you're gonna need everybody, you know. Um, so we'll look at it, make some decisions again. We'll sleep on it first, look at the video, and maybe sleep on it again before we make our decisions in the lineup. McKinnon still clearly right in the deep in field mindset. Was that a message coming from you? Was that from the room? Where, where did that come from? All of it, everybody. Yeah. I mean, what is one loss? Like it's not, it's not a the series isn't over. It's not close to being over, <laughs> not for us or them. So there's lots of hockey to be played. It's about playing your best hockey moving forward, you know? So yeah, there's lots to learn from it. We'll talk about it as a group, get their thoughts. They'll get ours. And then we'll look at video. Like I said, probably a couple of days of meetings and then regroup and get ready to go. Yeah. Last one. I, I don't always know exactly the structure or whatever. On the third goal where, where they had the two-on-one, was that more Burkowski didn't get the puck to Makar and Makar wasn't in the right spot? Well, it's a turnover high in the zone, you know, bottom line. So I'm not, not going to place the blame on either guy, but you got to take care of the puck. I mean, you turn it over there, it's chances are something bad's going to happen. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.